Hey everybody, I am going to be putting together all these projects with the new Tracy Reed Sweet Summertime collection. It is a beautiful color palette and it has like that vintage feel to it. And so I was able to put together a page about my husband um, being off in the summer and a, just a simple pocket page about that and making my own chipboard here and here. And then one to start off June, I used a vellum right here and just pop dotted a few different pieces. And then this one, a new favorite of mine, I just love the photo, helped that I just gotten my hair done so I felt glamorous and had to take a selfie. And I also splattered some paint and used the um, a, sh a sun shape and then just clipped these papers to the sun shape. So I'm gonna put those together and I hope you enjoy seeing these come to life. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Sabrina a few design teams and I also have a class at Big Picture Classes. All that information is in the description box below. All right, thanks so much. Here I go. This was the big pile of cut out, cut apart, fussy cut digital goodies that I had and was going to be my introduction, but my husband was vacuuming. So I made a new introduction and now I am ready to put together my pages. This one is going to start the June me section and I took a sun and cut it out. I'm also going to use a vellum piece since the back page, you can see it right there, the top left corner also has vellum. So I wanted to repeat that. I'm going to put the sun up there instead, have summer fun, and then I just have one of the pink cards with just a light pattern on it, and I'm going to layer on some flowers and several different word strips. For the bottom pocket right there, the bottom left one, I am cutting out a journaling card. I tried something a little different and put it over to the bottom right and just cut off what I didn't need. And then I'm going to staple on a journaling strip that says something like life is better in summer or something like that. But I just tried something different because it's, it's a journaling spot, but it's still a square and it's not a label. It's a little bit bigger. So tried something different, stapled it on, and I think it looks good. So for this one, I had that light colored pattern but then I wanted something a little brighter so I switched it out and I'm going to pop dot that flower and then I'm going to add the word strips like I said. I have sun kissed, summer loving, and summer state of mind. Also going to tuck in a orange flower as well. And just a little tip when I was putting down adhesive on summer state of mind I only put some on half of it so that way the other half didn't have adhesive because the flowers were pop dotted. And I wanted to make sure that the summer state of mind popped up too. Okay, so I stapled the sun. I'm going to pop dot the summer fun, add some glasses, and then I am just going to journal about summer, starting summer, and hoping for a good summer. This is last summer, 2019. So it did turn out to be an awesome summer. Much better than this one is so far, but that's okay. We are all together and we are safe, so that's what matters. Okay, this one I am documenting my husband and I and just how I'm thankful for him to be there for me and take off time during the summer and just thankful for him. So I had a journaling card and it was like the giant lemon and so I decided to turn that into a giant chipboard piece and I'm super excited and happy with how it came out. And then I'm also going to turn that flare into a chipboard piece. I'm going to turn both of them into chipboard to add a little bit more of dimension, which is something I love to do with my digital elements. If you've seen that in lots of my digital videos, I do that all the time. Okay, so I am cutting out the lemon and then I will have a giant chipboard lemon and I can put it on that pink piece of paper. And I don't think I'm going to add anything else to that card. I, I don't believe I am. I'm just going to leave it as is because you don't need much when you have a giant lemon chipboard. 
So I'm going to put that there. I journaled. Uh, I turned the camera off to journal. And then I'm just adding on a torn strip of lemon pattern paper, the heart, and then also the flare that I made as well. So just lots of layers and adding in the different digital elements that I printed out. And I crumpled my hearts because I like to do that too when I print out digital uh, elements. I like to crumple them to give it a little more um, texture and dimension. And so that way everything is not so flat. I'm also going to add in a few, um, I think I picked hearts and then the little stars. Okay, I am going to move on to the page about myself, and here is the stack of digital pieces. I have these, uh, I want to say sunburst, but Tracy had a sun shape, and what I did is I clipped a bunch of her pattern papers to the sun shape, so that way I could have this design of suns backing my photo, and so I am going to put all of those down. And I didn't put any in the middle because my photo is going to be there. So that would be kind of pointless. So, um, and I have to fussy cut these anyways. So one less one to fussy cut. Actually, I made my husband cut out two. I think he said two. Two was his limit. <laughs> so I cut out the rest and I am just putting them down. I'm trying to make sure that a bold pattern is not next to another bold pattern and trying to just balance them out. And then I am going to make some chipboard in just a minute. I'm crumpling up that really big heart that I have and positioning my photo. So I'm turning the two hearts and then that uh, wood veneer looking flower into chipboard. That way I have some really big dimensional pieces. I just love those hearts. They're very cool. This one, like I said, was already looking like a digital wood veneer, so I just made it a real, uh, well, you know what I mean. It looked like a wood veneer, but it's chipboard now. I think you get my point. Okay, guys, look, I painted. I painted. I really loved this photo of myself. I was really excited to get my hair done, and I wanted a special layout, and I felt like the layout just needed something. So I am taking some paint, dipping my brush, and then just tapping on the brush to get some splatters. And then I get out my heat gun, heat embossing thing that I've had for eons, and I am drying the paint so that way I can um, add on some brown. I had to dig out, dig that out of my closet. And so that gives me the extra, I want to say umph, umph extra pizzazz that I wanted in my page so I really really love those splatters and it also matches the hearts too. I just felt like it needed something a little special. I'm going to pop dot my photo that way my photo is not laying flat on the spread. I'm going to tuck in that big heart right there and also add in a summer loving pop dot that one. At the bottom I'm going to add in another word strip, the flower, and then the second heart. I thought about not putting the heart next to the flower. That's why you see I just pulled it off, but I'm going to put it back there in just a minute. So I looked in my wood veneer stash and I had a three and a five. So it was perfect for the title that I wanted to do, which was this is 35 because uh, I took this photo like a week after I turned 35. So it all worked out. It was meant to be. I am nearly finished with this spread. I'm just going to glue down the wood veneer and then I'm going to pull out some wood veneer from Ellie Studio, I believe, and I'm going to use um, the asterisks. I want to call them asterisks. Asterisks and hearts, and I will use those. I think I use those on the page with my hubby too, but whatever. It works for both of them. Okay, this, this spread is done, and I so love it. I love documenting myself and just embracing myself. Okay, did you guys enjoy that? Did you enjoy seeing the pages come to life? Oh, I just love digital kits. They're so versatile and so many different uses. And as you can see, I got three different types of projects out of the kit, two pocket pages and one eight and a half by 11 full spread. So hope you enjoyed seeing this video and I appreciate you watching. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, bye.